Welcome to Extreme Web Designs. My name is Rocky. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up print to PDF option in Windows 10. So let's get started. Once you're on your desktop, simply tap the Windows key on your keyboard or click on the start menu button in the lower left hand corner of the screen and type in the word printers. And in the list of results that show up, click on the one that says printers and scanners. And from the pop-up that shows up on the screen, click on the option that says add a printer or scanner and let it scan for printers and scanners. And after a few seconds, it shows you the link that says the printer that I want isn't listed. Click on that. And from the pop-up, select the last option that says add a local printer or network printer with manual settings and click on the next button. And from the choose a printer port dialog box, the first option that is selected for us is use an existing port and click on the drop down against this option and select the one that says file print to file and click on the next button. And in the install the printer driver pop up under the manufacturer column, look for the one that says Microsoft. Select the Microsoft manufacturer and that updates the values underneath the printers column. Scroll down till you see the Microsoft print to PDF option. Click on that and click on the next button. And on the next screen, it says which version of the driver do you want to use? It's recommended that you use the first option that says use the driver that is currently installed. And you can try this option first. If it does not work out for you, if it fails to add the new printer, in that case, you can select the second option and try it again. So, but for now, let's use the first option. Let's click on the next button and let's name the printer as Microsoft Print to PDF Test 1. And click on the next button. If you have noticed, it's trying to install the printer over here and it's asking me if I want to set the printer as the default. If you wish to do so, you can leave this checkbox checked like so, or if not, you can just uncheck that. So I don't want to make that as the default printer, so I'm going to uncheck that and let's do a test on this to see if it's doing the job for us or not. So let's do a print a test page by clicking on this button. And let's go to the desktop and save that file as test. So click on the save and click on. So as you can see here, a test page has been sent to the printer. So let's check what happened. Click on the close button, click on finish. Let's minimize. And here is the test PDF that was generated for us. Let's double click and open it. So it shows details of the print. This means that the printer was set up successfully and we were able to print test page using that. Let's do another round of testing real quick. Let's minimize this PDF and let's open up notepad. Let's write test and click on the file menu option and click on print. And in the print pop-up that appears, notice that we have the Microsoft Print to PDF Test 1 printer over here. So which means Windows was able to add this printer. So select that and click on the print button here. And it's asking to save the file. So let's do that. Test 2. So the Test 2 file has been generated. Let's see what the contents are. And as you can see, the word test, which we typed is here. So that means the print to PDF option was successfully set up using Windows 10. So now let's see how to delete the printer that we just added. Navigate to that section by clicking on the start menu button, the lower left hand corner of the screen, or tap the Windows key on your keyboard and type in the word printers and click on the first result that says printers and scanners. And from the list, 
click on the printer that you want to delete and click on the remove device let's do that so it's going to ask you to confirm if you want to remove the device and simply click on the yes button and that's going to remove the printer that we just added so that's how easy it is to add manage and delete a print to pdf option in windows 10. thanks for watching if you found this video to be helpful please feel free to hit the like button leave a comment share it on social media and subscribe to the channel soon after you subscribe make sure you tap the bell icon located right next to the subscribe button to receive all future updates thanks for watching